Hey there, today I'm going to do a video about concealing because as you can see I have some scars here. It's nothing to stress about, we all get them, especially if you are Asian or black. We tend to get this stuff called hyperpigmentation. It fades away, it doesn't stick around, it's not like a scar where it's going to stay that colour forever, it just fades. As the skin sloughs away, it fades away. So I'm not stressed about it, but I do wish to cover it up. So I'm going to go through a few options that you have, and the way that I do it, um, to sort of cover up that dark mark, I mean they were just spots, nothing, nothing untoward, but this is generally what gets left behind. And although they don't hurt, and I know they're going to go away, I just want to cover them up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to use this, and it's the e.l.f. concealer pencil and brush, and it's the best formulation I've found. You know, because I have liquid concealers, I have very, very light concealers, I even have sort of creamy ones that come in a pot as well. Um, but I find this is great because it has just the right texture. The thing about this is you're not going to be able to cover them with something like this. And this is the under eye concealer, it, it's still a concealer. It just doesn't have enough of a texture to cover those marks. So. This is in shade medium, but it does come in two other shades that I have, um, fair and light. Um, and what I will do when I've taken them out of the packet is I'll put some swatches on the back of my hand. So this is what medium looks like. It looks light on here, but it's actually a lot more orangey, which is why it's very good for my skin tone. And I'm going to zoom in just a touch. So you can see those three red marks. Now this is interesting because um, I was talking to the ladies at Karen Herzog and they told me I would get spots along my chin line um, because of lymphatic drainage, which is you, know, you have lymph glands here, you have lymph glands in your armpits. And so what I need to do is get do more of a massage to do with the drainage down the face and the neck to help take away all of those nasty things. So zooming in. I'm just going to grab my mirror. Now take your um, concealer pencil. It has a, a thicker consistency, so it's good. And just take the end and literally twist it over the top. And do the same to the others. I'm trying to stay in shot. And there you go, three of them. Like that. Just sort of circle around. Like that. That's pretty good. But the texture is not quite right. So take the other end. If you don't have one of these, just take a small brush, quite a stiff brush, and try not to disturb the cream that's over the spot. Just blend around like this. And blend it and fade it away to nothing. Now I'm doing this before I put any foundation on, simply because I use mineral foundation and these are creamy oily. So what you can't do is put something that's creamy and oily over a powder because they just don't mix and you'll end up with sort of cakey, a flaky mess. You can see these little bumps, it's just light reflecting off the different texture of a slightly bumpy surface. But what I would do, and I've, I'm afraid I've forgotten to do, is bring down some pressed powder, some translucent or some coloured, and just set that with a powder and then it is going nowhere. But that looks pretty good. If I zoom back out... Now, I've got the three pencils here and I've swatched them on the back of my hand. And you'll see, so obviously the medium one is... I turn these round. <laughs> I'll turn these around, there we go. It's really hard to do this in camera. Have I got these right? right? Yeah. So that is the medium one. That one. Up against there. And you can't see it on my skin, really. That is fair. Really quite light, but it has a yellow tone to it, which is really quite complimentary for red tones in the skin. And then this one here is light. So that's that one. 
and um, it's very light, it's very suitable for people with quite pale skin. And again, it has these yellowy tones in it, which is much better than a lot of concealers I've seen, which are very pink underneath. And yellow is really good for complementing and controlling redness in the skin. So, as I was saying, pop some translucent powder over the top. If you still feel that there's some redness there, then try something with a yellow tint to the powder, like Complexion Perfection. But a translucent should be really good to cover that. Um, so those are the three um, concealers from the e.l.f. range that I have. Um, but I, I do think that they're the right consistency for covering um, this sort of stuff. The other thing, which I'm not sure if I mentioned, is that it's medicated as well. So it has um, something called an AHA, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, um, which is called salicylic acid in it. And what that does is it gently exfoliates away dead skin and breaks down um, bonds between old skin and new skin. So it just helps refresh and renew. And it also has tea tree oil, which is a fabulous antiseptic if you have anything bubbling under the skin which is causing um, an infection or pus or anything like that. It just helps clear them even quicker. So it's kind of a good little, um, little product and I would say that that has covered it completely. If you look at the beginning of the video, I had three very dark spots, you know, that feels great, feels very light, doesn't feel like I'm wearing a whole load of makeup. It is thicker than your average um, applicator like this, but I feel you need it when you have a dark sort of complexion like that, um, like those three spots, you really do need it. And don't be afraid, because if you want to look good and you want to feel confident, and those sort of dark marks are not making you feel confident, then um, invest in one something like that. I think the Body Shop has a range of pencils as well, which are really good. Um, the right sort of texture, you just need to find the right colour. So I hope that's been useful for you. It's certainly useful for me because I feel a lot better about not having those three little dots there. Uh, it was also quite sort of weird, you know, showing you my face, I have no makeup on, I think I've gotten really lazy thinking, well, you all know what I look like with and without makeup, um, you know, and I can't hide anything, I just don't think it's worth it. You know, this is my skin, I have red blotches, I have spots, um, and you want to see that, really, don't you? You don't want someone with a perfect skin going, this is how you cover up spots, because I don't have any. So um, I do hope you found that useful. And um, leave me some comments if you did. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.